All right, how are you doing? I am Colin and this is Shine Automotive Extra. And this is now where we film what we call the week in shine, the day-to-day -day life of what we get up to in the garage where we post all the clips of us just doing our normal day-to-day -day stuff. What we're doing right now is we're currently moving all the videos from Shine Automotive over to Shine Automotive Extra. What we've got to do now is catch up over the next 50 odd videos that we'd already done on the main channel. The reason why we're doing this is because the analytics of the week in shine is killing the growth of the main project channel which is shine automotive if you haven't seen that there's links in the description let's get these out of the way and let's get back onto the week in shine on this channel if you don't know me i waffle and over on the main channel we have loads of crazy projects over 450 videos already uploaded let's crack on i don't know i don't know i feel like letting you all down at times <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm Colin and this is Shine Automotive and this is what we call the Week in Shine. And in this episode, loads has been going on because this Week in Shine has been filmed over a few weeks because we had a bit of a gap where we didn't put any videos out because we've been really busy and we had a little whoopsie daisy with the race car which we're covering this one and many more stuff. There's loads of projects of customers, subscribers that started dropping off stuff. There is loads coming up because I've got a load of footage that I need to edit. On a lunchtime, I've just been editing these videos to get them out of the way, to try and get as much content for you lot to enjoy. Let's crack on with this one. It's a really good one. <laughs> Lots of disaster. We've got some goodies sent out. It's another night on the race car and we've got the eight hour at Brands Apps and Nathan is opening some lights that we've been kindly sent out by Colite. So I'll put all the links down below and there's discounts as well. So if you use our discount code, which is down below, you can get a 15% discount off your purchase. Nathan's getting stressed stressed out opening the box. I'm not gonna swear. I'm not swearing. No swearing today. No swearing today. What do you say, Bella? Ooh, Ooh look at all that wire. Oh, that's all that wire. You don't need yeah, any wire then. Very nice. Nice, chunky, heavy wiring. So if you've got a 4 before, which these are done for 4 before vehicles, really. Have a look here. Ooh. Oh, it's a box of foam. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Ooh, look at them. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Carbon fiber effect as well. They're really nice. Right, we'll get on and we'll get them chucked on. Very nice. The brackets, real. They look really sturdy. Oh, They're better than that. the stuff that we got last time. Yeah, They're really meaty sturdy brackets. Meaty. Mm. Ooh, meaty. Mm. Wow, look at all that wiring that you get. Look at it all. Meaty. And the switch. Very nice. Mm. But we won't be having the switch on because in the regulations, when we put the the lights on, the actual lights. I think we should put the switch in. You want to put the switch in? We're not allowed to, though. Yeah, we are. No, we're not, though, are we? We'll just find it. <laughs> We've got a place. There's a hole pre-drilled down at the bottom yeah, of the dashboard. There is. Whoa, I can't, can't put this in the video. But, <laughs> well, we might just get away with putting a switch on. We won't be putting a switch in. We won't be putting the switch in. <laughs> Whoa, they are bright. And we've got a good focus on them. Oh, they're wicked. Very nice. Very nice. Nathan's extremely impressed with the loom that he doesn't mm. want to chop it up, so he's taping everything up. I've got some loom tape as well. So they are proper bright. Happy days. So we've got a rib nut kit that we're going to use for putting the, the brackets on. And down on our cross by bar here, we can rib nut, and we will have to cut into the bumper, which we had to do with the last lot. So we'll get drilled holes, get the rib nuts fitted in there, and the brackets in there. And then I like to quite protect it away from if we have a little bump, they're just sat in there. So we wicked. Extreme lots of mishaps. No bumps, just mishaps. Straight through the spring. Ah, ah, my finger. Goodbye. We're even using a riv nut for our earth bolt because we are professional. <sighs> this is the tool of the gods. Are you 
use like a bolt and seat down it's all right isn't it yeah done well what would you imagine <laughs> That's a relay. So all the relay comes in with it. It's really good. Really good, all this. No pressure, Nathan. There's no pressure whatsoever. Hey. Hey. The race prep. Jake's on sorting out the uh, the light at the back, the rain light. Probably something to do with somebody's wiring. Yeah. Don't need the control bit. Thank you, darling. It's alright. You're not just a nice cameraman. Tidy. Tidy. Ah. Shame Chris isn't racing. Uh, He'd have more fun racing with us than fixing a mini every single race. Probably thousands of pounds. Gil. Have you caught it? Slightly. Yeah, it's fine. We'll put a pink sticker on it. Tell you what, and I aren't just saying this because we bought some lights off Amazon for the last couple of years to use for the eight hour race and the 24 hour race, and they've been all right. But I was shocked how good these lights are. And if you go on their website and use our discount code, they've got a deal on at the moment anyway. So you've got a massive discount off, and then when it comes to the checkout and you use our discount code, which is SA15, which I'll put a link to everything down below. You can purchase these lights and lots of other stuff that they have. And they've been brilliant. We rolled the car four times and there's not a mark on the lights. The bracketry, the wiring is brilliant. And for our racing, the vision that it gave for us, it wasn't, the pattern was so good, it lit up the road and the sides, what you could see on the track. So I have waffled on enough about these lights. Thank you very much to Corelight for sending these out free for us to try. And we will be using them for the foreseeable future. And I might get some different style ones for the wagon. Because it can get a bit late on a night when we're driving back. And my eyesight ain't just as good as it used to. Let's get back on with the video. Waffling all the time. Cleaning in the last week in shine. In one kilometre and the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A19 towards T side. And I'm dropping it off. Because we're nice like that. And we've got a car to pick up as well. So yeah, can't wait to see what the car I've picked up because it's failed its MOT. So we'll see. This is such a clean car, it drives beautiful. So this would have and should have maybe been the new car for next year after our little roll, but there we go. I say our little roll, all, all three of us in the team now have rolled. I've rolled the old green one, Nathan rolled the pink one, Adrian rolled the pink one. So the pink one went over twice in a year, several, several times. It lights flying through the air. So this Mini has just come in to us. Which is getting cleaned down now, needs a bit of work, got to fix the power steering and do the rock cover gasket. So we've got this one just coming. It's getting cleaned up now to go on the pitch. Mm, the supercharger one. So yeah, if anyone's interested in that. And this thing that we took in the pack, it's with that lovely KA. And the windows are down on it now. Uh, it's just, it's been smoked in and it has more smoke residue i wiped my finger on it last night that's that's all smoke i wish you lot had smell of vision for this but it is a clean car it's just absolutely 
mean inside. That'll make a good diesel car for somebody once it's been fumigated inside. <laughs> it's unbelievable how badly this car's been smoked in. I mean, just look at it. that oh. that's going to take some attempt to get that out of there plenty of the D1 problem with these roof lines you don't want to get them too too soaked up we'll just see to maybe just let it dry a bit and then go over it again. That's minging. That is minging. This has just arrived in the post this morning from my mum to me and Megan, eh? How nice is that? Mum, you're a legend. Thank you very much. She's trying to say I need to eat healthy. I am still losing the, the weight, just not as, as fast as I would have uh, liked to, but you know, biscuits are nice. <laughs> so we've just opened the boot as well. <laughs> Megan's actually got the roof lining back up really, really clean. So it's starting to make a car again. I dare even open this and have a look underneath. Well, it's not that bad under there. It's not that bad. Nice. <laughs> Are you enjoying cleaning this, Megan? <laughs> She's even got a mask on, bless her. So it's the 31st of October today, and the, um, the Astro Van is off the road, and the MX-5 is off the road, cancelled to tax off them. Cancelled the tax off the wagon. Uh, I'm tempted to sell the wagon, really. I know I love it, but I'm just thinking the, the lease is um, due up on the yard. I don't know if I'm going to get it redone. That could get me secured deposit on my own garage or uh, my own yard. Because surely to God, that's going to do a minimum of 50 grand. Surely, when you look at what they're making, who knows? Does anyone want to buy it? I don't know. That's all welded up, all done. So that video is coming out when I get time to edit it because there's a load of footage for that one. John's got the mounts made, which you'll have seen on his channel for the G-Wagon. Just hiding in there and they are looking proper sick. Proper sick. So I just need to get a clutch and a flywheel sorted out for the engine. And we can do some servicing on the engine and we're going to get the engine fitted in and then well, no, we'll probably put the engine in, get all the mounts and all the front of the chassis painted, and then get the engine back in. I don't know. There's a G-Wagon video coming out very shortly when John's been back off holiday. I think he needs to finish off just welding a bit on the chassis. Oh, yeah. Lufus, 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 Lufus. So it's a bit of a quiet day today. And um, we've got this Polo with a blown engine. And we're just going to knock a load of bits off it and get them listed on our eBay. So if anyone needs any bits off this Polo, it, we're only going to be taking lights and wiper motors and window regulators and stuff like that off it. The engine's knackered. The gearbox is good though. Nala, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? So yeah, if you need any bits, there's always a link down to our eBay in the video description as well. So, wow, she's it. SDI. Very nice. Got a brand new alternator on that. So we've got the engine out. The engine's kaput. A load of scrap in the back of the van. The engine, we're going to weigh all engines in in one go at the end. Lewis has been chucking, chopping some wire up or cutting some wire up. So, but there ain't a lot more we're going to take off it now. Just the, uh, I think there's one more wing mirror to take off. Or maybe not because the wires are being cut. That's about it. And then on to the next one, which I think is an Astra. So, that's ready to go in the old trusty motor. When we get some time, we've got some other bits to finish off the video on this. We're gonna get all the body painted and a new light bar sorted out the back and sort out the interior. And then this is, will be up for sale. It will be up for sale because now we've got the Vito, we're just gonna get a trailer 
because I have too much stuff. I, I, the yard is full. And I think I might sell the Turbo K as well. In all fairness, after we've had so many rolls in the K and that doesn't have a cage in, I wouldn't like to roll that on the track. Oh, God forbid, let one of my mates go out in it and roll it. So, so this is the next one in. For bits. Lewis is manning the steering. There he is. So yeah, this is the next one in. And I'm gonna go get that one weighed in. Just, just like that, just like that. Are you coming with me, pal? Go on, get yourself sat up there. Come on then, we'll go for a ride out. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Hey Lewis, yeah. you're looking cool. Thank you. So I've got some shelving. I put our mate at Nathan. Our mate? Our mate at Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown, our mate. And we have some other shelving that I've got of John. It's up in here and we've got another one to go there. For this metal shelving, we're going to use a long way to put a lot of the heavier car parts on. And that's like the polo, the strip down today, and that's like the Astra. So they'll lift stuff and move it onto the heavier shelving. So I'm just getting an air sorted out. Shelving along there, and then we're probably going to put a thin rack of shelving down there because it's only going to be for storage. But like everything, it's a right mess, isn't it, kids? Oh, yeah, it's such a mess, Dad. Get a yard tidy. Don't you be having a poo round there, you. Hey, you couldn't write about it. You couldn't ask for a better shells that go all the way along and meet up like that. So, so I, I'm buzzing. Just a bit more storage, heavier shells. These are all right, but you can't have much on them because they'll just start buckling and bending. But I'll probably put a row of them down in the middle. So it'll just be narrow walkways, but it's only for storage of the items, getting stuff on the shells. So it just helps out turnover because at the moment we are very, very quiet and I think it's only going to get quiet coming up to Christmas because people aren't spending the money. So I'm going to get the press put back in there for now and get the rest of this sorted out and a load of this stuff can go in the bin. Sort of lost track of time. Um, today the Astra got weighed in. I did 920 kilos with no engine, so I'm happy with that. The Corsa came in and that's on the truck now but it's pitch black outside so we're weighing the course ring in the morning we've took a load of bits off that some nice leveling seats that have come out of that and an interior they're really nice and the back bench is the only bad seat but the guys the trimming guys that my mates used to use they used to charge about 60 pound for that you get a nice corsa with a scabby interior that would make a nice looking interior i only want 80 quid for that and it comes with a door card it's got a nice leather steering wheel as well so yeah i'm done for the day been having a right clean out and I'm, I'm, I'm filthy So we've got a lot of the cars weighed in and we need to move this old body because we're going to tidy this space up. And Matt came up with this idea. <laughs> we don't know if it's going to work, but I thought I've got to squeeze this into the Week in Shine because if this works, this is amazing. What do you reckon, Lewis? I think that's No, let's not mention that. Make sure you're safe up there, Lewis. Where's your hard hat and your high vis vest? Right, pump yeah. it. You need to pump it up, Lewis, a bit, I think. <laughs> I can't believe the wheels are free. Oh, my God. Right, tell me to scrap me, I'd like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I'll do, I'll do that and I'll put... Put it on a draw hitch. So we've also sold the D5 engine. So while we've got this contraption going, well, we might as well have a go at getting the engine out down the bottom. <laughs> We're loving life, aren't we, Lewis? How would you like your engine delivered today, sir? It's 
that with you. Um, I'll just set the plug up. Yeah, well, we've got it up in there like this. Just clean oil out. Yeah, might as well drain oil out of it. So it's on to the evening. I'm just about to lock up and go home after really hard work. And then John just turns up out the blue. Oh, yeah, my pads have gone. I've got some pads. Can you put the pads on? We want to go home, but how many times have we landed at John's when he wants to go home and he's folded or cut us some steel? For example, the GTO, the bits that he's just made for the GTO, but that's coming up in a different video. Every fuck, every day. Every day. What are we doing to this, Lewis? Breaking it. We're putting some front pads in, and Lewis, everything you've learned about putting front pads in, I want you to forget about it. Take the caliper off, braid the old pads off, yeah. put the new pads on, and... Am I throwing the grease away? Yeah, it? don't. Just chuck them together, mate. We want to go home. I'm joking. We're going to do it properly, John. No, You're starting to spot a bit of a beard there. You want it to be like me? Mike, I'm gonna shave it in like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna shave it in. Yeah, I like it. John's Elliot, Elliot, look, my hair. Elliot won't. Elliot ain't cut it. Right. And he's off for a holiday. So right. I won't get it done again. So you're so not getting the hair done again. It's my winter. winter yeah. Look, I like. I like how you're sporting your tag on your hat. You need some hat. Like? You need some merch. You need some hat merch, John. I've got one on my uh, hard hat. Have you? Yeah. I've got well, you got a sticker on your hard hat. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so John's car from JW Fabrications, just nearly at 6,000 subscribers now. You know, he's flying, the channel's flying. I think um, there's going to be a battle round first, who's got the best YouTube channel. I know which one isn't doing very well. But anyway, that's for a different story, isn't it? Take <coughs> two! <coughs> coffee, Come very coffee. If you need any work doing, call John. All your fabrication, he loves welding rotten transits. Ring this guy, not me. Is now back in the hands of Darren Stapleton. So back under safety car. I see Shine Automotive are back out, Alan. I hadn't spotted that one. So we, that was one of the cars that went through the gravel trap. And it, it is out there circulating now. No front windscreen, no rear windscreen. Nor had I noticed that. Which uh, car number? Car number 180. One. If, in fact, no side, okay. no side windows either. There's, <laughs> no a few, there's a few of them running like that. I, I've just come over to the pit wall to get a, a closer view. Um, yeah, it's, it's just heading through Paddock Hill Bend now, that particular car. And I also wanted to come over to the pit wall just to have a closer look at the tarmac and just see if there was any semblance of dryness about any part of it. What do you think the answer is? I'm guessing no. No. Yeah. And the problem is now we're getting to half past three. It's chilly now, you know. It's just going to get chilly and we'll hit yeah. the dew point and it will just get worse, won't yeah. it? I th uh, yeah, I think this is um, <laughs> going to be track conditions for the duration. Oh, uh, oh, Shine Automotive do have one window left. Right, the, the, the passenger side window is still intact, but yeah, there's no driver side window or, or rear quarter window. There's no window in the boot. There's no window in the near side rear quarter. Yeah, there's, there's one window, um, which isn't going to do a great deal, is it really? Uh, not really, only missed up. That would be, that, wouldn't that be the worst <laughs> thing to happen? They have to come into the pit lane because there's one well, single bit of glass that's missed it up. I suspect with the airflow around the car generally, they, they might be all right. Be okay. I think they might be all okay. right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but hats off to the team. You know, we say it in jest, but hats off to the team because you know they're not throwing in the towel. That's what this event is all about, isn't it? You no, know, they've they've not had the rub of the green today. They've had a car which is going to need a lot of work doing to it, or a reshell, or whatever. But they've not thrown in the towel. They are still out there. They are still circulating. They are still in the race. Plenty of them elect as they come past me down on the pit wall. It's um, coming to you now. It's, it's got lots of um, day glow flashes to it, pink flashes. Uh, hang on. Oh yes. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, OK. It looks like um, uh, one of Nick Tandy's short oval cars, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it just needs a big sign on the top of it with a number on it. <laughs> yeah, it does, it does like it should be on the, yeah, on so the short. She's a little bit sorry. So what we're going to have to do is what I'm going to try and do first is put the portal power in and see if we can push this, this end back out. It's definitely going to want a back axle, but it, it's had a serious smack on that side and the whole car just looks like it's down so it might be a reshell i don't know yet but this even the door the door is on all right and the rear quarter is all right but it's obviously smashed in there 
which is that's only the outer skin. But when you look down in here, it's creased in here. But these don't look like they've moved. So I'm just gonna put the port panel on it first and push it, push it out from that corner. I have another one, a rotten silver one up the top. But when it last rolled, we had to put all these in. And all this is all all right to probably where I pieced it in. But I didn't change this, I changed this. So this has stayed all right. The roof has gone down on that corner ever so slightly, but I think we can push that back out. So then my aim, what I'm gonna try and do, is just try and level it all back up and see if it'll all get back up. If it does, put a new outer roof skin in, a new outer quarter piece, sort of piece up to there, put that piece in. Don't ring now, phone. But this way it's pushed down. I'm gonna try from inside with some blocks on the floor and see if I can push this back over first and work from there. Well, would do you believe it? That there has come back out. I've put another door on it to check it. The door shuts. The wheels from center to center are cock on. It wants a rear axle, it wants an outer roof skin, but the inner part of this and the outer part, and it's gonna want a quarter on this side. But all these pillars, and this door lines up. Bonnet's knackered, wings are knackered. This quarter's good, but we're just gonna have to piece from the outside here, put this out, outer piece in. Inside, it's gonna need all that back doing, and this bit across there. So, but the boot opens and closes, and it's, it's come back pretty, pretty mint, so I am quite happy to see the girl will live on again the front bit where the roof had come down when we part powered this corner here that's come back out right so i'm more than happy i know these videos aren't everyone's cup of tea but i just, oh, just need to be on with it i can't let it go like this as for if we get this done for a week or so And then I need to get on with the XRTT. But the lad that rolled in this needs to know how much it's gonna to cost to get repaired. So I'd rather just get this repaired. I know it's not gonna make every one of you happy because you all want the XRTT and I did promise. You know, and believe me, I really wanna be on with it. But I just, it's, oh. it's all stressing me out right now. You know, I try and make these videos to because I like making these videos, but I want you lot to enjoy them as well. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the content creating at the moment, if I'm all too full. It's just getting sat down and editing. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Finding it rough at the moment, lads and lasses. I don't know what to do. I don't know to continue filming this or just stop and just get on with it. And then just wait until I've got time to do the XRTT and just give you that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm letting you all down at times. <sighs>